The government will soon announce a plan to build a new museum for the artworks donated by the late Samsung chairman Lee Kuan Yew last April. Local governments have been trying to bring the museum to the areas, while art experts call for a contemporary art museum that deals only in modern era artworks needs to be established. The late Samsung chair Lee Kuan Yew had donated some 1,400 pieces of art to the Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art. The donation includes works of 20th-century Korean painting masters such as Yi Sang-bum and Byun Gwan-sik, as well as Kim Wan-gi and Park Soo-geun, who infuse Western painting with Korean elements. Given the size and value of the donated artworks, the government believes a separate institution must be established. 수장고가 많이 부족한 상황입니다. 어떤 형태가 됐든지 미술관과 수장고를 또 새롭게 건립할 그런 생각도 있습니다. One of the candidate locations for the new museum is a site in Songyeondong, which was purchased recently by the Seoul city government. But roughly 20 local governments, including Busan, Daegu, Sejong, and Gyeongjangnam-do province, declared their bid to house the museum. The art world claims that a museum that deals only in the contemporary era should be separated from the Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art. Art experts maintain that the role of the National Museum, which covers contemporary, modern, and current periods, must be divided by building a new contemporary art museum. 우리나라는 국립 현대 미술관 한관 가지고 그세 시대를 다 다루고 있거든요. 그러다 보니까 사실은 이 기관의 정체성도 확실치가 않고 어떤 경우는 매우 현대적인 전람회를 하다가 어떤 때가 보면 근대를 하고 있고. Korea's contemporary period was marked by colonialism, division, and even political disputes. Some artists claim this should be a chance to reevaluate the era culturally. 다양한 화가들의 그래도 노력이 있고 또 오늘날에 우리가 이 근대라고 하는 것을 이해하는 단초가 되지 않았을까 생각이 되거든요. The Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism plans to announce its new museum plan including its location as early as June 15th.